For this session, we're going to look at a sweep. So we're going to again go to the Insert menu, come down to the Sweep button. We're going to select Protrusion, and we come up with the left-hand side menus. And here we only have to specify the trajectory of the sweep and the cross-section that is going to be uh, swept along the trajectory. So the first thing is selected is the trajectory. The menu manager says that we can either sketch the trajectory or select a trajectory. Well, since we don't want have one pre-drawn, we're going to select on sketching a trajectory. Again, the standard default of asking us to collect, select what plane we're going to do, put the sketch on, asking us what the directions are, except in the defaults, again, for the direction and the sketch view. So we'll come over here and we'll use, to get a, a nice curve, we'll use the spline tool here. And let's do something fairly simple. We'll just use a couple of control points. We'll pass through the center and come down here to the bottom. So a fairly standard curve. We can throw some dimensions in. We can make this 180 make this 250 and this one down here 200. Plus, since this is a spline we have some control points here that we could move around if we're so inclined. We can do them just by dragging. So I'm gonna not make it too severe of any type of curve and we're gonna select the check mark and that is defining our trajectory. Now you notice how the whole um, item switched around. So if I want to show the actual curves here, our trajectory has been, we're looking at it sideways, and it's defined two axes which are going to allow me to dimension my cross section. So let's go back and zoom in on that location. So here's the end of my trajectory. So for this simple one, I'm just going to put a circle. We'll dimension it. Make a dimension 30 and select our check mark. And come up here on the upper left hand side, you can see the message bar tells us all elements have been defined. So I can come here and select OK and I was actually on a wireframe view here so let's go into our solid view and I can actually turn my enhanced realism off. So there we have basically a curved piece of pipe. Well let's go through and make another one and we'll be a little bit more amb ambitious with this one. So I'm going to come over here right click on my protrusion and I'm going to delete the whole feature and I'm going to come back here to insert a sweep, a protrusion and we're going to sketch our trajectory. We'll choose one of our planes. Let's choose the front plane this time selecting the defaults. Now we can come back here again we'll select the spline one more time give it a slightly different profile. We can put some dimensions in just to define, basically defining the endpoints in space and the control of points define the rest of the shape of the curve. And I'm going to leave them to where they are now. So I'm going to select the check mark and we have completely defined our trajectory and here are the cross hatches that are giving me my two reference lines for my um, to define my cross section. So at this time I'm going to select a rectangle I'm going to zoom in here and I'll draw my rectangle. But instead of just leaving that why don't we make it a little bit more interesting. I'll use the rectangle to define the, the size and I'm going to 
make a spline here to give me an interesting top shape and I'll draw another spline in to give me another interesting shape and I can come here and delete some of the extra lines and now we have a nice closed shape here I'm going to select the check mark everything's been defined I'm going to say OK so now that is a nice interesting cross-section that you wouldn't be able to select or draw any other way but by doing a swept curve and a cross-section to sweep along it. So that is again coming up here to insert, sweep, and selecting the protrusion.